Assalamualaikum and greetings human being. In this video, I shall give a brief explanation on modern Chinese industrial coffee can style filters. The filters are generally have caused complaint threat as communist China received scientific support from the Soviet Union until something interesting happened between the two. So yeah. No less trend is a myth for God's sake. Anyhow, the existence of the filters can be traced back to the existence of the TF1, which is probably after the Great Chinese Famine. I couldn't find any info on what standard they initially used before 1995, even though I spent days sacrificing some bits of my sanity, probably because of some restrictions. As I've mentioned, the TF1 and the coffee can sell filter have a quite common history. The one you're seeing here is one of the earliest TF1 set. The early coffee can star filters were called TF1 filters as well, although nowadays the name is archived, as in not in use formally anymore although the name has been used informally to describe these newer filters. As you can see at the filter, 99 Dash 12 refers to the manufacturing date of the filter, December of 1999, which brings to the next explanation about this filter. Publicly known standards. There are two known standards of the Chinese respirators GB2890-1995 and GB2890-2009, as the name of the standard suggests. GB2890-1995 was said to be used by respirator manufacturers in China in 1995 until 2009 afterwards. Since 2009 until now, they shifted to the GB2890-2009 standard. As you can see here, this is a table I've made on the comparisons and classifications of Chinese industrial filters. The first column refers to the numbering system of the type of filter. The second column would be the GB2890-2009 letter identifier, which pretty much quite the same as the internationally recognized ABAC system. The third column would be GB2890-1995 color code, which is currently replaced by the GB2890-2009 color code listed in the fourth column. Last but not least, in the fifth column, comprised of a brief explanation what the filters protect against. The ones written as still unknown slash not understood clearly are just like the labels suggested. Research regarding the filters is still ongoing, therefore please be patient. You can pause the video to have a look at the table. Here is another example of a filter that adheres to the GB2890-1995 standard in the TF1 set, of which the filter was made in October of 2001. Onwards to the newer one, as in post-2009, as ever mentioned, the filters adhere to the GB2890-2009. There are many manufacturers of the filters, but I shall focus on these filters for the sake of simplicity. The first one is from Tangshan Buddha Protective Products Factory. It weighs 0.6 kg and was made on the 3rd July of 2021. Rated PL3, internationally known as P1A3. The body is metal and the 40mm cap is plastic. Here's the inside view from the male 40mm port. The blanking plug is somewhat either rubber or plastic. Here's the inside view from this side.
The second one is from Tang Feng Industrial Protective Products Company Limited. It weighs 0.605 kilograms and was made on 29th April of 2016. Rated PK3, internationally known as P1K3. The body and 40mm cap are metal. Here's the inside view of the male 40mm pot. The blanking plug is also either rubber or plastic. There are some kind of supports inside here. The third one is from Yahoo brand, where well, there are things that are needed to be known about this company. Firstly, the owner of the brand Yahoo is Shandong China Industry Protection Technology Company Limited. Secondly, the company itself does make tea of wine and coffee can style filters too, alongside other products as well. You can have a look on the video I've made previously about the Chinese TF1 to understand more on what I'm talking about. Anyhow, this filter weighed 0.502 kilograms and was made on the 29th April of 2019. Rated PA1, internationally known as the 1A1. The body is metal and the 40mm cap is plastic. Here's the inside view from the male 40mm port. There are three springs supporting the 40mm male port from collapsing inwards. The blanking plug is plastic. Here's the inside view from this side. That's all folks. If you have any questions to ask, let me know in the comment section. I have no asbestos. <laughs> <laughs>